Hi guys. <clears throat> it is a midwinter day here in early April in the great state of Texas here on this freezing Thursday, April 6, 2023, where it is approximately 50 degrees colder than it was three days ago. And I notice it is 14 degrees warmer in Ithaca, New York today than it is in the great state of Texas. Uh, I mean, looking at the weather forecast <laughs> for Bugs in a Jar Farm next week, which is pretty much identical, actually nicer than the weather forecast for... Uh, for for Texas, uh, I, 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 I'm trying to appreciate the irony. Uh, the, the universe does have a sense of humor, but it also it makes me wonder if it's going to be what, uh, like in the mid-80s, uh, in mid-April at Bugs in a Jar Farm, uh, what does that mean for July and August as El Nino builds, but... Uh, Anyway, uh, I guess all that will figure itself out. Here comes more rain, I see. Uh, but anyway, uh, I'm, uh, <laughs> I'm, 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 I'm trying to see the humor in it. But let me talk. What did I come out here to talk about? Oh, I do want to, uh, <laughs> I, 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 you know, I don't get into party politics uh, on, on this channel, uh, but I do have to congratulate, I guess, Robert F. Kennedy Jr. for throwing his hat in the 2024 presidential race. Uh, this is really going to throw all of these anti-vaxxers uh, in, into a tizzy like my like my friend here. Uh, so if it if it comes down to RFK Jr. versus Donald Trump, and I honestly, for the obvious reason, I don't think that uh, RFK Jr. has a chance. But I it, it, just the absolute tizzy it's going to throw the Trump voting anti-vaxxers into, you know, Donald Trump uh, proudly calling himself, I guess, the architect of Operation Warp Speed and, uh, it, it, you know, the vaccinated uh, Donald Trump uh, bragging about Operation Warp Speed and then uh, you have RFK Jr. on this side, so it wouldn't surprise me if RFK Jr. Uh, did not have more former Trump voters than Donald Trump. Uh, <laughs> it, 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 it just never ends, but of course it's uh, his anti-vax stance that means that obviously that RFK Jr. has no chance uh, of winning, that he is going to be more pilloried in the lefty media uh, for his stance on vaccines than, than Donald Trump on his stance about everything. The, the lefty media is going to have a feeding frenzy uh, because of RFK Jr.'s uh, opinions on one subject. Uh, but anyway, I will say if it does come down to a showdown between RFK Jr. and Donald Trump, Ham on Little Tail, for the first time since 1988, when I voted for Jesse Jackson, uh, I will be heading to the polls to vote against Donald Trump. Uh, in 2024, him on Little Tail. Now, if it's Joe Biden, I will not be going to the polls. 
But any who's speaking of vaccinations, I just thought this was a humorous thing. So I noticed, uh, well, I'll just skip part of the story I was going to tell. And uh, so I, you know, I joined this thing called Green Singles. Uh, <clears throat> about 10 days ago, looking for my Doomer Chick Forever on Green Singles. Well, I have a, uh, an email from uh, Green, Sing Green Singles. What is your status? <clears throat> yes. Hi, Hambone. I have an important update in regards to green singles for you, vax status on profiles, due to the large number of requests from members, we have decided to provide an option for you to display your Corona Panic vaccine status on your green singles profile. When you answer as unvaccinated or vaccinated, a badge will display under your headshot. There is also the option to answer, I prefer not to share my Corona Panic vaccination status, which will assure that you will never get a response from anybody. Okay. <clears throat> there will be a small syringe with a line through it for unvaxxed or a syringe a syringe for vaxxed on the top of the member cards. This is what you see when you first log in the search results matches etc before opening a profile. Yes. We are not incorporating these answers into the search itself as it takes too long for enough members to answer a new question. Yeah, I, I bet. So, uh, all right. Please know that we are offering this to help members connect. Many have strong preferences one way or the other, and we respect those preferences and want to help everyone meet someone truly compatible. We ask that you always treat each other with respect and kindness, no matter their VAX status. Our members share the common vibe of consciousness, whether that be spiritual and or eco green, which makes our pool very welcoming and wonderful. Unsolicited, unsolicited lecturing, condemning or blaming is not okay and will not be tolerated. Yes, we have always supported free speech on green singles and respectful discussions and consensual sharing. Consensual sharing of information is okay. Just treat each other well. That's all we ask. Yes. Uh, anyway. So I guess I will get my not vaccinated badge. <laughs> well, you know, at least when, when I first got this, uh, you, you know, I was having my usual whatever reaction. But of course, you know, compared to a uh, pile of fish, you know, pile of fish is the you know, the dating service that actually came up 
they literally came up with the verb to Fauci someone. Uh, to Fauci someone. Fauci is a verb and uh, created by the founders of Pile of Fish and uh, what it means to Fauci someone is that if you meet someone on Pile of Fish and you determine they are not taking Corona Panic seriously enough. Okay, meaning they are not vaxxed and, and don't wear a mask is what they're talking about. You know, they offer a I'm vaxxed badge. Uh, but they do not offer an I'm not vax badge. And they say if you encounter someone, I, you know, what they're saying, who is unvaccinated or doesn't wear a mask, you figure this out about the person. And what you do is you ghost them. You just, with no explanation, no lecturing, no non-consensual sharing of information whatsoever, with no explanation whatsoever, you ghost them. You just disappear out of their lives, never explaining uh, why you never want to see them again. Uh, and it is called to Fauci someone, and I, I wonder... Uh, how many times I have been falchied on uh, on pile of fish, but uh, I, I guess none of these uh, uh, these thousands of doomer chicks forever uh, viewing my profile. Uh, I guess none of them need to bother falchying me at least. But anyway, I've got to wrap this up because I. This gave me an idea. I, I have abandoned my... I, I was going to do a, a, a medium.com essay. Uh, I was going to write one about, you know, in defense of nice guy assholes. Killed that one because this gave me a new idea that uh, I am going to start drumming up support for a Doomers dating service, I think I'm going to call it Dead Planet Dating Service for Doomers. Uh, so anyway, I'm going to go start a movement for uh, Dead Planet Dating Service for Doomers. Any Doomer chicks out there, well, any Doomers or Doomer chicks who want to join my date my dead planet dating service for doomers uh let me know and we can figure this out how to get together and anyway that is my plans for this cold winter day oh god get me out of here if i could i uh, if if I could snap my fingers <clears throat> on Monday morning and be an ethical. I, I, if, if I hadn't already made plans to get together with my sister and some friends uh, next week, uh, I would be getting the hell out of Texas uh, on Monday morning and I would be at Bugs in a Jar Tuesday night to wake up to the spectacularly gorgeous weather in Ithaca, New York uh, coming up. But anyway, it is what it is. I'm out of here Monday morning. Bye, guys.